What's up everybody? Joel here, Stay 48 Exotics. That's my name. But uh, all right, so this video we're gonna do uh, stage four. So we're gonna do the fourth level of the racks going down, not up. Uh, pretty excited for this. We're starting to get into more of the males. Uh, so that's always cool. And I have a really cool snake in here that I want everybody to kind of look at, give me their opinion on it. Um, it's the Motley Project. So I'm pumped on that. Uh, I had him, I've had him for about a year. He didn't go last year. He was a little small. So what can you do? This year hopefully is his year. So does really cool things. But uh, full circle, uh, this video gets 100 likes. I'm going to pick two people that comment down below to get t-shirts. So I'll send out some t-shirts. We get 100 likes within a week. There is a time frame on this. It's not an open-ended contract. So let's get that dialed. But uh, all right, guys. Thanks again for watching. And here we go. Okay, y'all, so fourth stage, fourth stage of the rack system. Here we go. Um, this snake right here, I feel like not a lot of people have or even really know about. Um, this is a pastel motley, I believe to be a super motley. Um, I will hopefully prove that out this year. Um, but you know, some of the things that tip me off for the super part of it is that like arrowhead. Let's see if we can get him up here. He is a goat mover and a shaker. But uh, that arrowhead pattern up there is, that's so unique. Um, I've seen a lot of motleys that don't really have that. Problem is I haven't really seen a lot of motleys. But uh, I do really love these, uh, this, this gene and, and really what it can do on clown. I posted a picture on my Instagram recently um, about uh, some super motley clowns. And they are freaking silly. But like look at this animal. Like this is a, this is a you know, 900 gram male. He's about three years old, and look at the yellows he's still holding. I mean, you know, down at his face, you know, up on top, it's a little muddied out, but you get that. But, like, look at the yellow on the tail. I mean, that just looks so vibrant. I love that. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited to get this guy into the rotation this year. I had him last year. Um, he was a little small last year, and he just didn't really feel like going. Um, so that's fine. You know, I had other plans for my clown. You know, I only have one uh, large enough female clown, really, um, to produce other than, you know, the, the fire het clown, and she's already taken this year. So I think I'm primarily going to breed uh, my clown female to this, uh, this male here because um, I absolutely love this project, and, I, and it's untapped. You know, there's so much more that can be done to it. It's, it's very puzzle-esque. Uh, I feel like some people might even consider this a puzzle if they didn't know you know both genes really well um, obviously there are differences but uh, this isn't a, uh, a recessive trait this is a codom um, there is a super form obviously like I had mentioned before I believe this snake to be a super form of the motley he's just very reduced um, look at this you know the side patterning um, no alien heads nothing's connected down the side he almost has a lateral stripe so I just uh, I'm really excited I love the head pattern and what they end up doing in clown is just marvelous. It's almost like a reverse striped clown. Um, so yeah, they're they're pretty incredible animals. Um, this guy is uh, he's a bit of a pain for me, but you know he does his best, I guess. Um, completely clean belly, gotta love that. Um, belly shot's incredible. He's just he's just a really pretty snake, and I'm really happy with him. So I uh, I hope to get him into the rotation this year, and then. Uh, prove out some motley clowns, maybe some pastel motley clowns uh, this coming this coming season. So I can't wait for that, but here he is. All right, so here is Randy. He is my leopard yellow belly um, double head clown pied. Um, obviously there's a big trend here um, for the, uh, the clown pieds. I mean, that's that's primarily my project right now. I feel like I'm, I'm really heavy into that, and that's, that's my, that's my all-time favorite project. I want everything to be a clown pied, sunset clown pied, uh, puzzle clown pied, all of it, you know. I'm going to have to do some other things first to get those jeans in there, but uh, 
I, uh, I just, I just love the clown pie project. I think it's so unique and it's two of my favorite jeans in one snake. So why wouldn't I do that? It's just silly not to, but, uh, he's the father of the uh, clown pie this year, actually. Um, the fire clown pie that I ended up producing. Um, he's also the father of my leopard clowns, uh, my yellow belly clowns and that, uh, yellow belly fire clown with that beautiful ringer on it. I mean, that snake's arguably that snake's the prettiest snake I produced this year and and the one that everybody seems to like the most and me included um but he's an awesome animal I'm probably going to link him up with uh the pastel highway possible het pied um be pretty cool to get a you know if anything just those leopard ivories I've seen uh, like porter's pythons he he produced some of those urban constrictor he posted a video on on uh, leopard ivories and they're just they're stunning um i i love the leopard ivory such a faint pastel color mixed in with the leopard gene is just it's perfect um so i just that's something i really want to work towards you know even if that female doesn't prove out to be pied or het pied sorry um that'll be fine because i think what what the these two coming together will make will be just absolutely stunning and there's a chance you know to get the highway leopard um pastel pied or highway leopard highway pastel or leopard pastel highway i think is a cooler way of saying that um but yeah here he is uh he's a trooper great eater great breeder locks with anything and uh, you just can't go wrong with a snake like that so we will see what he can do this year all right so what we have here is the uh yellow belly or gravel pied uh, i got this snake from justin kobelka his name is dave and he is a mover and a shaker too. Uh, hard to keep this guy in one place. He goes all over the place. Uh, I will say this guy is sort of my ambassador though. When I, uh, anybody comes over or there's a little kid or my nephew or anybody that wants to maybe hold a snake for their first time, this is my go-to snake every time. He is so relaxed, so chill. He moves around, which is always cool for somebody to experience. Um, but he's not flighty, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't tear anywhere or scare anybody or do anything like that. And he's absolutely stunning. Um, he's a really pretty snake. People love pides. Even people who don't like snakes love pides. Um, that's something that I feel like the, the average, uh, person, uh, doesn't really realize that this type of snake even exists. So it's just a cool thing. Um, Really, 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 really big fan of the yellow belly complex, as I've been saying. Uh, gravel, too. I, I would love it if this guy proved out to be gravel, honestly. Um, don't really know how I would even know that. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess if I got a, an ivory, maybe bred him to an ivory, and if I got any highways out of it, I would know he's a gravel. Um, that could be a way. So, I don't really have that in plan, but that's kind of a good idea. Tell me what you guys think about that. Do you think that's a good idea or maybe something that I should actually work towards? Um, Cause I really do like ivories in general, but uh, yeah, at any rate, here he is. Uh, I'd love what yellow belly does to an older pied. Um, really just keeps the, uh, keeps the color, you know, it's, he started out obviously super orange as a baby. Um, and he's, you know, he's darkened up a little bit as most, as most ball pythons do. But really, when you take into consideration what a lot of just, you know, your standard normal pides look like, um, they're usually a lot darker than this, and that's really cool. So I'm pretty happy with him. Uh, he's, a, he's a great breeder, too. He's, uh, he's also probably going to be paired with uh, the Pastel Highway as well, just to see um, if there's, you know, I like, on, on certain breedings, I like to, you know, double double back up, double back up the males, just in case one of them didn't get it done. And in this case, since I'm working with really the same genes, I'll, I'll know right away the difference. Um, if there's leopard, leopard in the clutch, then, you know, there's that. I'll know that the leopard took. Um, in this case, uh, if yellow belly's there and there's just a bunch of pides, you know, it's odds are that it's, you know, every snake's going to be possible to have pied, you know, so that it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really greatly affect, um, the uh the overall the overall genetics of it you know the, the the worst case there is is if he was actually the father and i for some reason was unable or leopard didn't show up in any of the clutches then i would you know i would by by default i would have to label everything possible het pied whereas if i knew he was the father i would know everything's 100 percent het pied but you know that's that's a, a risk i'm willing to take and and if anything you know any of my customers or anybody who wants to purchase a snake will really win on that because they'll actually be buying a 100 percent het pied snake instead of a possible het pied so that kind of helps out too for everybody else involved 
But uh, yeah, here he is, pretty belly, a little dirty. You know, white snakes get dirty. So <laughs> what can you do about that? So it might be bath time for him. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. This is the last snake of the row. Um, I want to thank everybody for uh, their continual support on this channel. You know, it's incredible. We've, uh, we've had a lot of growth uh, in the past in the past month, really. So I'm, I'm super excited uh, about that. You know, I love I love sharing this with every, everybody and sharing my hobby and my passion with everyone. It's it's a really cool experience, this entire YouTube thing. So I can't wait for that. Um, additionally, anybody going to Tinley, I can't wait to meet you and see everybody. Um, I'll be wearing my State 48 shirts and my hats and uh, just one. I'll just be wearing one of each, but uh, you know, there's that. So if you see me, come say hi. I would love to be introduced to everybody. I'd love to meet. I'd love to hang out. Um, if you're a YouTuber and a vlogger, stuff like that, let's get a vlog together. You know, let's get something going. So yeah, and that rate, until next time, we'll see you later.